And welcome back. I just wanted to share with you today this microwave I ran across. Somebody was throwing this away. As you can see, this is in absolutely perfect shape. And I had a feeling it was fairly old. I'm sorry about that bird. It's right next to me. But what can you do? Anyway, I had a feeling this was somewhat old. I thought it was from, well, I thought it might even be from the 70s. But as it turns out, it is from 1983. I'll show you here on the inside here. Right there. You can see they're manufactured November 1983. So this microwave is 30, 32 years old. As you can see it's absolutely in stunning condition for how old it is and inside and out. And it is a convection microwave. And look at this. This is the way they used to do that convection. There's a coil up there. And then there's a little, there's a metal fan there. And then, of course, it's a microwave as well. And it's a 1600 watt microwave. And we're going to test that theory today. I've got the watt meter here. I've got it plugged into there and we will test it on the microwave and the convection cycle to see what kind of uh, current it's really drawing. But just wanted to show around it a little bit. Of course, you know, you got your simulated wood, something they used to do back then. And the panel is just beautiful. Now, it does not have a clock. Um, I'll show that in a moment. But that's a look at the face. But now it actually has a real latch. You see there. It's just nice. Usually the newer microwaves you just pull. And it's kind of clunky. But this one actually has a latch. And it has a much finer mesh, which is going to be really hard for me to film. There it is, you can see it. The mesh is pretty good. I'll, um, I'll try to turn it on here. What I'll do, we'll turn micro time. See that? And we'll give it 30 seconds. And we will start. And the little light comes on. I don't think it's actually... It's focusing on the front panel. Anyway, so it's going to finish up here and sound its buzzer. And I did test it. I have um, put my dinner in there the last two nights, and it absolutely works perfectly. And the convection works as well. I'll do that time. I'll do that now. We'll just run that for 30 seconds as well, because that actually gets hot. And the convection on this one hasn't been run in a while, I can tell, because it smokes. And it's not smoking because it's blowing up. It's got, like, food residue. There it goes. I don't think 30 seconds is going to be long enough for that coil to heat up. But we'll see. Doesn't look like it. I'll open it up really quick as soon as it's done. Might be able to see. Anyway, it absolutely is getting very hot. I ran it on a couple of five minute cycles and it smoked like a chimney and it was just burning off old food residue from who from 32 years. I don't think that they used it as a convection oven. I think they only used it as a microwave. 
But, you know, the outside of it looks fantastic. And it's got this big vent on the back. And I'm not sure exactly why. But one of the things I will be doing is I will be taking this apart. Now, I don't really take things apart on this channel anymore. I have uh, a new channel where I take things like this apart, and that's where I'll be taking this apart. And that channel's called Disassembly For You. And this, this disassembly video on this microwave won't be up yet, but uh, you, if you're interested in that sort of thing, you might want to swing by there and subscribe, and it'll show up sooner or later. Anyway, I, what I'm going to do now, since I wasn't watching, I'm going to run it through another microwave cycle. And we are going to watch the watt meter. See how many watts it really pulls. Aha! Uh -huh. So it's only actually pulling 1400. Which is making me wonder. There we go. And back to almost nothing. Now, make me wonder if there's a higher setting. I don't think so. But maybe that was for the convection. We'll run another convection cycle here. And we'll see what that does to the wattage. Well, it's more, but it's still not 1600. What I was thinking is that it was going to be higher than 1600. So, um, that says that it's actually not that bad, it's still pretty efficient. And uh, we're definitely going to keep this, so when I take it apart, I'm going to be very careful not to ruin it, because I think we, I think we want to have this as a, gosh, a conversation piece. Look at that, it's all stainless steel inside. And uh, some interesting things, you know, like these little button things here. Definitely holding that together, and I don't know what they are or how to get them off, so that's going to be a new one for me. But that's just a look at it. Uh, it weighs quite a bit. I think what I'm going to do here right at the end is I'm going to put it on a scale to show what microwaves used to weigh because I'm telling you it weighs a lot. So I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I have it on a postal scale under there and it weighs in at a whopping 82 pounds. 82.7, almost 83 pounds. And it is a big microwave. It's a very deep microwave, but it's not a giant microwave. I have um, collected a few, and I have some that are much bigger than this, so they don't weigh that much. So I'm very curious to take this apart. I want to see inside there to see what is making this thing. Maybe the magnetrons were bigger back then, or heavier duty, or the um, transformer is gigantic. I know they got big transformers in there, so very curious to see. So, um, if you're curious, uh, head over to that other channel, Disassembly for You. I'm pretty sure I left the uh, link up on the screen the whole time, ever since I first mentioned it, and I will be taking it apart on that channel. But this is, for this channel, I was just a uh, something I had to share. Uh, it's amazing what people throw away sometimes. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody, and y'all have a good day.